Last call to turn vegan and repent sincerely, part six of six on Between Master and Disciples held in English. Sometimes I told you already, like you didn't have that white sofa in your old office, and I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in front of it, I thought, oh, this is what I want. This is what I meant. You should buy this kind of sofa for yourself. And you were thinking that I was talking about that ugly sofa that I did not like. <laughs> it wasn't that one. It was a very beautifully made white color. Mm -hmm. And it had a little curve even. And it was a long, stretching sofa, beautifully decorated and beautifully designed. Mm. I don't remember seeing that kind of sofa anywhere before. Oh. Mm. I thought, oh, you bought this one so beautiful and you bought that ugly one for me? <laughs> and later, I described my sofa. I said, because you told me you have the same one, Master. I said, no way, no way. And later, I told him, is the green one the same one that you told me before? And you say, no, no, we have the same. We don't have any white there. And you look all over every other office for the white one <laughs> you didn't have, remember? Yes, 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 Master. And one time I sat in my office in Taiwan and was looking out and it looked like Europe to me. So I yeah. called many people and said, where am I? <laughs> remember that? Yes, yes Master. I told you that story. Yeah. And then the next day it looked the same, same as before. Not like Europe, but same as Taiwan. <laughs> 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 I was really in Taiwan at that time, huh? a long time ago. Sometimes illusion allows you to live in a little different country, <laughs> a different kind of environment, just for a while, quickly. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's difficult to discern where you are. Yes, Master. Yeah, if your mind doesn't interfere, then you are in that situation, but you didn't know that it's an inside situation. Because at that time, you don't feel that you are inside or outside. Yes, Master. Mm. Anyway, I'm just talking about things that you don't understand, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Someday, maybe you will have a similar experience. Doesn't matter. We're still here on Earth, and it's uh, almost 2 30. And <laughs> are you sleepy or not? <laughs> no, Master. You're okay, Master. You're okay. Yeah, how long did I speak now? Half an hour? Uh, almost 40 minutes. 40? Yes. Already? Yes. I can't believe that. Really? <laughs> yes, Master. I just say a few words, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is your good news and bad news that makes it long. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I broke my record and that, so... Okay. So, um, take care of yourself with the coming heat, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. August is coming. It's the hottest month. Oh. Mm. Mostly. Everywhere. August is the hottest month in the year. Yes, 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 yes Master. July is also hot, but uh, just four weeks, okay, huh? Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah, just keep yourself cool with cold water and be happy that you have cold water. Mm, yes. Oh, yeah, now I remember, I tell you what, in India at that time, when I went to the Bulgaria, I was already overheated, and then I could not really walk very well. And I went to uh, Veranasi, the deer park area, uh, yes. I went there for a pilgrimage as well, to pay respect to the master. And I was really already uh, at my end when I just saw a temple. It looked like a Chinese temple, but inside there was a Tibetan monk. Even though he is a Tibetan monk, he ate vegetarian. Oh. Mm. I mean, it's truly just vegan. <laughs> he didn't eat anything else except non-animal products. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if he drinks milk or not. I didn't see. And I went there and collapsed. So he took me into his room and covered me with... Uh... No, that was afterwards. Uh, he let me stay in one of the small little corners somewhere. Then I went to take a shower and the water was boiling hot. Oh, I almost oh. burned myself. Oh. Oh. It's not hot water. It's water from the pipe because they make the pipe all open. Yeah. Yes, and yes, the yes. sun heated the pipe up, and I didn't know. Oh, yeah. 
oh my god it felt like burning all over mm. Mm. there was no other choice I, I didn't know it was a new place i just arrived and i didn't know whom to ask or anything i didn't think of how to ask i normally don't ask anybody anything mm, that's just nice. And then after that, I got a, a fever or something, mm. and the uh, monk oh. saw that I was sick, so he put me on a bed outside, not in his room, outside in the corridor. Mm. I guess he didn't want people to think anything bad about us. Yes, 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 yes. He was really a good monk, truly a good monk, like a father. He put me on a couch, on a cot. Mm. In India, they're made with coconut uh, fiber, coconut string. Mm. Oh, yes. He put a blanket on it and then he laid me on it and then he put a cover on my whole body. The cover is uh, like a mosquito net. It has uh, some kind of wood sticks around to make it stand up like a tent. Mm. But it's empty at the bottom. It's not like a tent that is covered. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's like uh, in Asia, sometimes people use them smaller ones to cover the foot so mosquito or flies don't come in. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes, ma'am. This one is bigger. I don't know where he found it. <laughs> it just covered my whole body. He just uh, like cat spit on me. <laughs> I lay down there and then he just covered with that. Just like people cover the foot with these uh, anti-fly nets. Yes, yes. And the structure is like that. It's like an umbrella without any middle stick, but it's not plastic. It's just a net, mosquito net. Yes. Just like that. And in an oval shape <laughs> made for humans. I don't know how he got that. I never saw it anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. <laughs> and sleep outside. <laughs> Actually, in Thailand, many monks and nuns don't go to sleep at night in the temple inside. Each one has a mosquito net hanging on the tree. Mm-hmm. And in the daytime, they knot it to tie it up. In nighttime, they unknot it, untie it, and then they cover themselves. And I guess they sit there until morning. Mm. Mm. They do eat meat, whatever people give them, but uh, they do some ascetic practice. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It's also to be admired. And they don't wear shoes to go out. When they come home, come back to the temple, there is a long bowl, you know, already made on the floor mm. with water. And they just walk in the water to wash their feet and then walk in the temple. Because they mm. went out mm. with muddy roads and anything. So they just come back and walk inside that long and deep bowl of water so that their feet are clean before they come inside the temple. Mm. And they eat one today mostly. Most of them are like that. Really strictly keep the precepts like that. So there are many kinds of lives. Mm. People survive, people live differently. I have seen many. It's also good for me to appreciate whatever I have and not complain about any difficult situation. Even when I lived in the ashram, <laughs> often I went hungry. Remember I told you? Yes, yes ma'am. Because I worked in the office, and I didn't know what time they would bring the food. Even I lived there for a long time. I never asked what time they bring food. How silly can that be? <laughs> uh, your master. <laughs> I should have found out. <laughs> huh? Then I would come on time. I did come sometimes on time. <laughs> By guess, you know. By the way, when I didn't have any more work to do, I just walk out into the dining area and I saw some food. Oh, miraculous. <laughs> I should have asked what time normally is dinner or, or lunch. Never asked even. Can you imagine what kind of woman is that? Oh, came straight from where? The moon? <laughs> truly, truly. When I was thinking backwards, I was really so naive and like a child. Mm. I didn't even know too much about things in the world. If I'm hungry, that's it, I'm hungry. If I don't have food, then I'm hungry. And if I'm thirsty, I don't have water, that's it, I'm thirsty. That's all I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of anything else, how to correct that situation. Didn't think. My God. Now I reverse my life and think of all that. I think I was really, truly so naive. Maybe you were in Nirvana all the time. In Nirvana, you must be joking. <laughs> Nirvana people don't know hunger. Yeah. I did know hunger. <laughs> well, I don't remember how hungry I felt. No, not really. Not that uncomfortable. Maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember feeling uncomfortable without food. Yes, yes, Master. So maybe if I had food, okay. And if I didn't have food, it was also okay, truly. Sometimes you're hungry, but... Uh, 
Now, I don't remember anything about feeling hungry and uncomfortable. It's just sometimes when you don't have enough food, then the body yearns for the sweet things. Yes, Master. And all the money I gave away, I had nothing. I could not even buy a piece of ladu to eat. <laughs> Other things, what are they call? The white stuff? Why uh, sweet? Sweeter than sugar. Mm. I forgot all that sweet stuff. Tell me something. Parfi or jalebi. It's another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. All these are good things for me. Mm. <laughs> 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 I didn't learn any of them. <laughs> <laughs> But then you felt like you wanted to eat that, but if didn't have, then okay too. Yeah, I didn't ever feel so agonizing or so terrible to anything. Yeah, I even went in the kitchen and washed all the mountains of dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't feel anything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh man, truly. What kind of world was that? I hear right. I lived in the world, but I didn't feel like anything is a trouble. Mm. Yes, yes, yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> I don't know, nice or not, but <laughs> just it feels very unconcerned. Yes, master. Yes, yes, master. Like just a placid kind of feeling, like nothing happened. Nothing happened. Yes, master. Mm. You just like another person observing another person, just like that, or looking at life from another angle somehow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like it doesn't concern you that much. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it was really nice. I would like that again. This time of the world, I don't like. I worry about people. I'm agonized about the animal people when I see them dying and being tortured like that. And about the war and all that. All oh, this disturbing me too much. Yes, yes, yes. At that time, I was not in the world, man. Mm. Somehow like that. Nothing really disturbed me at all. Hunger, thirst, cold, or heat. Didn't disturb me at all. Not that I don't know it's hot. Mm, Not that I don't know that the stomach is hungry or I didn't have food, but just, (laughs) you didn't matter. (laughs) Didn't even think about that. My God, what kind of woman is that? Oh, man. When I was younger. Now, if you let me go hungry, I won't work, huh? (laughs) 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 It's good. We don't either, Master. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all know each other, yeah? <laughs> okay, any more questions or anything? It's uh, three something now. Yes, 310. It's about one hour something. An hour 20, maybe? Yeah, yeah, not much. It's good, it's good. Like that, you don't have to work so hard <laughs> for the <that>. light <laughs> news. Okay, truly now. Good morning, good night. <laughs> yes, good night. Yeah, you still have a little time to sleep before you meditate. Yes, Master. Uh, count that as a blessing. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Then uh, let's uh, let you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you still have uh, almost three and a half hours. That's a luxury already, okay, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, master. <laughs> to me. I still have work to do. All right, then. God bless. God protect you and protect yourself. Keep your faith strong. Continue your noble work. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Thank, master. You, master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. I have a lot of respect for you for that. No matter why you come, no matter what level, no matter how much heart you put into it, I still have a lot of respect. It's hard work what you're doing. Not many people can do it. You can see it. <laughs> yes, Master. You can count on your fingers, and then you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you have appreciation for me, okay? Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Don't get your ego up. It will be trouble for me, for both. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Protect yourself from your ego. <laughs> yes, Master. May God heal you from everything that is harmful. May God give you all that is good for you. God love. Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, Master. master. Thank you. Remember, God, you are divine. Have a good night, remember God. I believe legislation and markets must raise the bar significantly so people won't have the option to be blissfully unaware of cruel consumption. 
we are at such a crucial tipping point. Alicia Silverstone, vegan.